it's time to check it again. And I guess we took about close to two hours. Um, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. And now you can see the color is really all the way. Uh, it's not translucent anymore. And when you taste it, it should taste a little salty, but that's the goodness of it all. And your meat ought to be looking like it's been boiled. And that's how you know you've gotten the flavor out. And this is where like my grandma or my grandfather, they made greens and they would take turns making greens and rice. And each one had a different style. One of them would leave the meat in there and put the greens on top. And the other one, take the meat out and put the greens in so basically if you have a family that likes to eat this kind of ham it's just ham afterwards you can save it like that or the onion that really tastes great after it's absorbed all of that flavor but here are my greens I have four bags of glory greens and each one of these is just a pound so I have five clumps of ham against four bags of greens this ought to turn out really great and if you've chopped yours and washed yours, it's just time to put them on in and keep the water boiling so that the leaves can start to wilt fast. And then after they do all wilt, when you've got all your greens in, you can turn it down and just let it cook till they're tender. Um, when you put a little oil in it, like I did, they don't turn, uh, they turn a different kind of green, more brighter. And I think that's what the oil does. And that's it. Be back when it's all done.